this is called a warup or a burbur in uh, Malulga language of the Torres Strait. Uh, this is an old drum that I got from my island. It was all with holes in them and, and cracks. So I did it up, painted it. I put a wallaby skin on it, some beeswax, and it's used for my dance team, Zugubal dancers. Uh, Zugubal means spiritual ancestors. Most of my work is cultural based, based on ancient tradition. However, um, as a cultural protocol, I try not to replicate the ancient masks when I'm doing fiberglassing. I try not to um, carve um, ancient or, s or specific um, information from ancient stories because certain information are not to be exposed. So I think when I'm, when I'm thinking about and planning my, my, my next piece of, my masterpiece or piece of work, um, I always balance, you know, today contemporary sort of way of thinking um, um, and try not to sort of step over that line and that sort of keeps me out of trouble. Um, not that I have been in trouble before, um, but um, yeah, it's it's only certain. It's it's all about only allowing viewers or art collectors or the outside world to um, learn just a little bit about Torres Strait Island culture, not too much. And obviously, the main the the, the main um, thing is to. Um, when in, in Torres Strait culture is what's sacred is sacred and not exposed. <laughs> Personally, I really connect with the, 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 you know, the whole theme of saltwater country because I am a person of the saltwater. I, it's different when I'm, you know, swimming in the lake or in a freshwater, in a creek. It's different from the sea because we believe that that's our, that's our medicine, that's our supermarket, and that's, that, that's who we are. So, um, yeah, all my work um, are all connected. Um, in many ways to the sea and basically um, yeah that's that it's all about the sea <laughs>